Welcome on in Browns fans. This is the three keys to the game for this week's matchup for our Browns and the Pittsburgh Steelers. These are the three parts of the game that our Browns are going to have to excel in in order to get the victory on Monday Night Football in Pittsburgh. Before we get into this one, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, comment down below. Do you agree with these three items or is there something that I missed? Let's get into this one. Key number one, neutralize Watt. So for me, key number one is going to be neutralizing TJ Watt. Now, before I get into this in greater depth, obviously this sounds like something that we should all have on our mind. He is likely the best player on the Steelers. I get it, but it's not just neutralizing TJ Watt. It is how we go about doing that. If you look at some of the highlights from the week one matchup Pittsburgh had, with the San Francisco 49ers, they didn't really double team him a whole lot, which might be the common answer. You know, let's put two guys on him, make sure that we take him out of the game. However, I agree with what the 49ers did in week one. They ran the ball away from him to the other side, and they made sure that the pocket was moved accordingly to allow Purdy time to throw. Whether it be quick passes, whether it be moving the pocket to the right, to the left. And like I said, running away from TJ Watt is going to be the key here. I know that we have some questions as far as the tackle position. Is Wills going to play good? Is Dewan Jones going to be in for a long night? I know that both of those guys could play good football and give us an opportunity to win. But on both ends of this line, we have to help our tackles in this Monday night football matchup against the Steelers. Key number two, let Deshaun cook. Key number two for me is going to be likely the most controversial key, and that is going to be run the ball more with Deshaun Watson. Believe it or not, I know that the going notion is that when you pay quarterbacks, you know, high salary, a lot of guaranteed money, you do not want them out in the open field with the opportunity to get hit. And I'm not saying that this should be a huge, you know, majority of our offense, but what worked in week one needs to work moving forward mix up the looks of this offense specifically in the opponent's territory of the field and even more in the red zone i want more desi design runs for deshaun watson i think that it gives another element to our offense that other teams aren't planning for or they'll have to make mid-game adjustments to and it'll just open everything else up as far as passing as far as handing the ball off to nick chubb and jerome ford so do it strategically don't lean on it as your crutch but when you when you have an opportunity to utilize and maximize deshaun's running capabilities that's something you have to take advantage of and especially with a pretty good defensive line i know they're missing cam hayward but you're going to have to mix up the looks against this pittsburgh steelers defense led by mike tomlin key number three no turnovers and my third key for this Monday Night Football matchup is going to be to limit the turnovers. I think that that is the one sole complaint that we had coming out of week one against the Cincinnati Bengals. Not only the turnovers, but how they happened and where they happened. We cannot have Jerome Ford losing the ball. We cannot have interceptions against the Steelers defense, even with some of their injuries and even with their roster composition. NFL teams, regardless of who they are, they are too good at home when they take the ball away. So it didn't hurt us in week one, but it's something that cannot go by the wayside. I hope that this week in practice, they really stressed ball security, making good reads, and just overall good decision making while we are on the offensive side of the field. We need to maximize points. We have a competent kicker from what we've seen so far in Dustin Hopkins. So anytime you could get points up on the board, especially in divisional games, especially if the weather is suboptimal, which it could be again this week in Pittsburgh, you have to take advantage of being able to score against your opponent. And what we saw with our defense, points matter a lot. In prior years when the defense let us down, when the defense folded, you know, as far as helping the offense out when the offense was playing good games and the defense wasn't we had more leeway to say hey let's go for it on fourth and one you know fourth and two now when we have the opportunity to get points i think you're going to see stefanski defer to that option because how much he trusts jim schwartz and this defense 
With that all being said, guys, like I said at the top of this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, share with one of your Cleveland Browns fan friends, and comment down below, do you like this list? What did I miss? Is there a bigger piece to this matchup as far as outside of these three points that were mentioned? I want to hear everything in the comment section down below. Do not worry. Me and Justin will be back with predictions pregame, and we will have coverage post-game analysis of this Monday night football matchup, likely on Tuesday because it is going to be late on Monday night. With that all being said, it's been the Cleveland Pulse, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.